So yeah, my name is Tangerine, like the fruit. I'm an actress, obviously, because you know what else could I do with a name like Tangerine? I mean, I guess I could be a stripper, but I got this really big, ugly birthmark on my inner thigh, and at certain angles, it spells out "respect me." So. Pretty much the only thing that kept me off the pole. So yeah, I'm an actress. I'm serious about my craft. I've been in this industry for over a decade. I've worked with all your favorite celebrities from Larry David to Cedric the Entertainer. And I'm recurring on a sitcom that has been out for six seasons and we just got picked up for season seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the claps. None of that shit matters because I still had to be introduced tonight. I mean, I see how you guys are looking at me. You're looking at me like, bitch, I ain't never seen you in nothing. I thought this was Celebrity Drop-In Tuesdays. Who's that bitch? <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm hurt. I mean, I thought for sure somebody was gonna ask me for a selfie when I got here or something, like maybe sign your napkin, sir, anything. I mean, don't you guys recognize me? Remember the show, uh, Wanda at Large? I was booty shaker number one, Hey. And what about the show Without a Trace? That was a, that was a hit show. It went for a long time. Get a good look at me, sir. I was hooker number one. Thank you. Some of the best prostituting you've ever seen on TV. I brought you that. So those are the kind of career choices that I've been making, ladies and gentlemen. I was about ready to throw in the towel and then my agent called and uh, she had good news. She was like, Tangi, you have an audition for the Sarah Silverman program, check your email. And I was like, oh dope, finally, a role with some substance. I'm so excited, I love Sarah Silverman. Who doesn't love Sarah Silverman, right? So I get online, I check the email, I look at the audition, I scroll down, the role is for crack whore number one. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, is this how people see me? Like, I'm pissed, I'm pissed at society, I'm pissed at Hollywood, I'm pissed at my agent. So I scroll down, I hit reply and I say, I'll be there. Cause uh, ma'am, I get hungry every day. So I go in the closet, I pull out my crackiest outfit. That's the booty shorts, that's the big wife beater, no bra, so my nipples can just be free. Then I put some nappy fuzzy cornrows in my hair. I put some black makeup under my eyes so I could look real old and in the finishing touch, baby powder on my knees and my lips so I can look dry and ashy and extra cracky. Then I go to the audition and I say the lines as best I can and I leave and I leave a little bit of my soul and dignity in the room. It's okay, I don't need it. I don't need it. And by the time I get home, I realize that I booked the job. I said, yay, right? It's bittersweet, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool, agent, you know, what's the role? And they're like, oh, they want you to play crack whore number three. Number three? All this fucking work I put in to get crack whore number three? Okay, I don't care who got crack whore number two, but who the fuck got crack whore number one? Who out crack whored me? Then I get to set and I, I met crack whore number one. I, I saw her and I realized something, ladies and gentlemen. She deserved it. Come to find out crack whore number one was played by an actual crack whore. I saw her hit the pipe right before we started rehearsal. And I was like, oh, she's method. She's method actress. It's like, oh, okay. So I was like, all right, make the best of it. I'll go and congratulate her on the role, introduce myself. And uh, she offered to give me head for $4. I was like, whoa, that's a really good price. Meet me behind the makeup trailer when we wrap. So uh, Ginger and I have been dating for about six months. 